Whoa, what's good, man? My name is Flimlo Rap. We're back in the Rutgers Dynasty, bro. I hit y'all up on Twitter. I wanted this episode today. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to jump in, too, and see what we was looking like, man. We just barely squeaked by Penn State. We're still number one in the nation, man. We had some close, close calls. We'll, we'll look at that in a second. Let's jump over and see. Now, we still got Ohio State coming up in week 10. And I really want to see what's going to happen with these recruits. Man, I had a lot of recruits coming in Penn State. Uh, that really got mixed up. I got to be more careful in my scheduling. But I don't think I had control over most of my scheduling just because of our conference. And it kind of threw us off as far as, you know, what we could bring in our recruits. Because I would have loved to have brought them in earlier. But, you know, they ended up coming in week nine in a very difficult game. So we didn't get our max points on any other stuff, I think. But hopefully we can at least get Deshaun McCoy right now. We get Deshaun McCoy, you know, all right, cool, I can live with it. But I'm hoping I can maybe get like three to four people right now. <clears throat> Would make me feel a lot better about this recruiting year. If you're new here, I keep saying this every episode, I usually, I'm usually pretty amazing in recruiting. It's just one of those seasons, man, and it's kind of cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of cool to not dominate something every season. Like, to have to struggle a little bit. It's, I mean, I like the challenge of it. You know what I'm saying? And to see if I could come back and, you know, and, and, and pull something off, that's, uh, that's amazing. <sighs> all right, all right, okay, okay. We get the Sean McCoy. That's money. That's a beast. I'm, we're going to go look at him in a second. And we get two of these linemen that we had. So that's good, man. That's good. Let's go check them out. I'm excited about that, you know. So now we got a total of four recruits. Not bad. Not bad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not great. <laughs> Again, we're probably about, that's probably like half of what we would normally have here. But the thing I am very happy about is that two of these guys that I got are impact players. These dudes are going to come in and instantly make an impact on the team that's the sean mccoy i mean you can see him right here 95 speed 99 excel 99 i'm sorry 90 did i say 99 95 speed 95 excel 93 agility 91 elusiveness look at his juke and his spin y'all know how i juke and i spin right so having that is beastly we got two pretty good linemen coming in they're probably gonna red shirt but just for more depth so we ain't gotta worry about this in deeper years because this year just wasn't that deep with talent but another beast 97 speed 93 excel 85 tackle 80 hit power bro this dude is nasty so and he's 6'4 by the way yeah so i'm very very happy about that number two running back number one um free safety that's money and it frees up some points so we can come back and see what's popping chad wade came in we didn't get much of anything. We, we did jump back in the fight. Uh, but our visit was was not great. Yeah, it really wasn't very good at all. <laughs> because we didn't hit our uh, we didn't hit our goal. Well we hit one. We hit one of the two goals. We didn't get no competitive points, but I had to bring him in and I offered him. So I'm gonna pop up a picture on the screen real quick. So y'all can see how much we were down last week. Oh, you don't need that. So you can see right here, we rose up. 1400 points last week so that is money okay now he is going to navy on a visit this week he um when he went on his visit to those other two teams i think syracuse and those teams they lost right so that's why we were able to jump back up it looks like he kicked them off the board completely i can't remember which teams it was it doesn't matter <clears throat> but we're, we're in striking distance. We're definitely in striking distance, man. It's going to depend on how his visit goes. If his visit doesn't go so well, we can maybe go and steal him in the offseason. So that would be nice. Um, Dylan Cotton, did he come in? Yeah, he came in. Uh, let's see what happened. Oh, he been came in. Yeah, he been came in. Yeah, he might just go ahead and go to Pitt after his visit. We'll, we'll have to see. We might lose both of those guys, man. And again, I'm not usually in this situation, so I'm going to leave them on because I, I really just want to see. I just want the experience of it. Let's see what happens because I'm usually leading on everybody that's on the list at this point. So it would be kind of cool to see what's up. All right, so Stan Carter, I don't know why he didn't just sign. He just came in on his visit. 
And we're just waiting on him to sign. So, you know, we got a ton of points on him. So, I may borrow some of these points. We'll see if I need them. All right, these guys are good. He's good. <clears throat> All right, uh, Paul Williams, we're, we're down a 1,000 points. Yeah, I, I'm not even going to. I'm going to kick him. I'm going to kick him. We're going to go find some more people, actually. Um, to Tavares Robinson, decent kicker. And uh, kick power. Yeah, we'll go ahead and recruit this dude. I don't know how many points I'm going to put on him, though. <sighs> Matter of fact, look. We're going to put five on him for now. Tyrone... Okay, I haven't scouted these guys yet. He's trash. You can see it from here. <clears throat> He's trash. You can see it from here. All right, DN. No. Outside linebacker. No. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had a lot of people on my list, actually. I had just added. Nah. If you showing me C speed right here, uh, you show me B, we could talk. He's still trash. Uh, <laughs> DXL. All right, kick. Kick, 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 kick. All right, so we're probably going to go ahead and snatch this kicker. But first, let's go back and look in, in here. <clears throat> All right, somebody said in my comments, yo, you need to have 35 people on your board. That's the worst advice. <laughs> yo, I mean, maybe that's working for somebody. If that's working for you, do your thing, man. Whatever. But I always say that, man. It's kind of a gift and a curse because if I play, like if I dominate everything, some people will be like, oh, what's the point? You're just dominating everything. And then, like, if I don't dominate everything, people think I'm going to, like, drastically alter what I'm doing. But I'm like, it's been working for 50 seasons. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then, I might have a bad season. Or I might lose a game. Or I might lose a recruit. But I'm not going to change my entire strategy because you know what I'm saying it it fails it feels like 10% of the time 5% of the time you know I like those odds I'm gonna stick with that yo 6-3 corner right here he looks good Paul Butler yo am I looking at the live percent yeah okay. I was say I got a live percentage up mm -mm. 52 58 I already scouted him Christian Matthews he don't want to rock with us um, shit. All right. You see, you got us locked out. Don't nobody want you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's recruiting. Uh, let's see. Stems. <clears throat> Moody? No. I don't want no Moody people on the team. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's up. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I think because I already got my beast for the year, you know what I'm saying? I, I think I'm feeling pretty good, to be honest, because... We got like the coldest people in here. So now if I can just add depth, we can really, really save this recruiting here. You know what I'm saying? And I can feel, I'll feel much better about it. <laughs> Cause currently I'm not liking where I'm at, but I'm not hating it either because we got Deshaun. Once we got Deshaun, it kind of, even if we only got Deshaun and um, I forgot his name, but that beastly free safety, <laughs> that's two great additions, you know? That's two great additions. But from a person that's used to signing like 20 recruits, I'm like, all right, we need to get some more people, bro. We got to get some more people in here. Uh, let's see what we got. 66 outside linebacker. And um, 35 people on your recruiting board, guy. I do add them. And so what I do is, you know, my method of doing it, and I, I, it's worked for me, and a lot of people have adopted it. It's worked for them as well. But I, I'll show you. I'm going through it right now. If, you, if you've stuck around, you might have dipped out. But <clears throat> here we go. Um, okay. We'll go ahead and add all the people. Some of these guys were interested. I just wasn't interested in them. For whatever reason. All right, boom. So that's 35 people. But, I mean, obviously, some of these guys are signed. I'm not going to keep probably. I'll probably keep like five of these guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to come in right now. We're going to be scouting and kicking people off. Scouting and kicking people off. See what I'm saying? Shed. I don't keep more people than I can recruit. You know what I'm saying? I, I put uh, 
my points up on everybody. I don't like split points. Yo, if I'm recruiting you, I'm going all out. This five points here is just to remind me that I want to recruit him, so I don't accidentally kick him off. Yo, 70, that's not bad. So we'll give him five points. <clears throat> Come to the corner. So we already found something, you know what I'm saying? Dude's not a beast, but he's okay. You know, just a couple depth guys that's not bad. Oh, this is already scouted. I was about to say, I can't be out of points. Ooh, eight point gym. Anthony McDougal. <clears throat> Man, he would be a really good mobile quarterback. I don't think I need a mobile quarterback. I don't need a quarterback at all. So what else can he play? He could catch a little bit. Yeah, this dude is nice. Man, what's he play? He's 6'1". Yo, yo. He's my favorite. I'll put 10 on him right now. He's my favorite. So I remember, you know, just where he is priority-wise. Because after I'm done scouting, all the points I got left, if I got any points left, will go to him. Mmm. 80 Excel is trash. He can't play QB. <clears throat> I don't like him. He gotta be like 6'5. He's 6'4 though. He's 6'4. I'll give him a chance. Maybe. Let's see. Nice catching. Good route running. His release isn't good. I mean, he's a project though. He's a project. 6'4, 225, three star player. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna start immediately. He'll red shirt, but he could grow into something. So, yeah, we'll, definitely, we'll try to get him, too. Yo, this year is turning around quick, bro. <laughs> I think what happened was I've been playing my Wyoming, and I think I'm in my mind I thought I went through and got my rejects, but I hadn't really gone through yet. So that's really why I think why I was panicking a little bit. I thought I had gone through the rejects, but apparently I hadn't because there's a ton of people still here. So that's beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, man. We're just looking for depth, man. Depth and stability in certain positions, you know? And I want, like, <clears throat> to get to the point where I got more than just my starters. I want to have, you know, some decent backups because when people get hurt and even when people get tired, a backup can come in for a play. You know what I'm saying? So, bam, how many people I said we was going to keep? I said five. <laughs> oh, we already had to kick it, so he kept four. Okay, so cool. We won McDougal. We want Brian Graham. And because I just threw both of them on, I'm not going to back some just because I don't really have the points to right now. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll split. I usually don't split. I'm not like a person that does that too often. But I want to let these dudes know I'm interested. So we'll, uh, we'll split a little bit. All right, so I think I'm going to borrow some points from this guy that I'm leading on. Unless it's Derek Mays. I'm not leading on Derek Mays. I'm not leading on none of the people on top of my board. That sucks. Ooh, oh, God. We'll borrow a couple points from uh, from Stan Carter. I don't normally do that. I'm going to still leave him on five because I need him to sign as quick as possible so I can get all these points and have him good to go. How good is he? He's pretty good, man. He's pretty good. We'll leave him on five. We, we should be straight with that. I ain't, ain't true. We got two with him, and we still got not very many points. We'll come back and get him. That's what we're going to rock with for now. And then next week, we won't have to scout so many people, so you'll be able to put a lot more points on those guys. And, um, <clears throat> you know, some of these dudes might dip. Somebody might sign, and you get more points like that. Yeah, that was uh, this one of the better weeks, man. One of the more um, eventful recruiting weeks right there, bro. I'm excited for the next recruiting week, but first I'm excited for this game. So that's what's up too. Um, we got more stuff though. I needed to do something else. Uh, I always need to look at the top 25. We looking good. We looking good. Nothing crazy here. Y'all might actually make it through these videos without losing my voice completely. Okay. They're still doing their thing. Uh, oh, I wanted to show y'all this. I wanted to show y'all this. Just what we were looking like to this point, right? Because <sighs> we've had a couple. Like this Arkansas game was close. This was a tight game. Uh, and then that was a tight game. And we're just going into, we still got Ohio State. We still got Michigan State. You know what I mean? So, 
is real. And not to mention, obviously, these are conference games, so those could go. They could be difficult. They could. We never know. Penn wasn't even ranked when we played them. And you see how that game went. So, anyway, man, excited, excited. About to jump into the game, of course. That'll drop a little bit later today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I hope you're excited for recruiting as I am because, you know, we try to turn it around. You know what I'm saying? Um, click the thumbs up button. I, I, I really like doing it a lot, like, week to week like that because it put a lot of pressure on. You know what I'm saying? It's So it's satisfying when you do this. Anyway, uh, click the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. My name is Flo Mo. We'll see you next time. Wow.